Hey, this is Derek Watley with the Ansible Service Broker team at Red Hat. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can deploy an Amazon RDS MySQL database using an OpenShift Origin cluster with the Ansible Service Broker installed. The first step is to click on this Amazon RDS button. This will bring us to a configuration wizard. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new project for this called RDS. We're going to have to supply a few parameters similar to the ones that we would supply if we were doing this via a cloud formation template. In this case, I'm located on the East Coast, so I'll change my availability zones to East Coast. I'll have one CIDR block designated per availability zone. Here we can specify the database name if we want to change it. So, my RDS database. And we can change the password if we want to. And the username, of course. Um, let's see. We have to change to be publicly accessible so that we'll be able to bind to this with our example application. And we'll have to fill out some information with regards to the VPC we're going to deploy into, our access key, and our secret key. In the future, these fields will be designated at the cluster level by a system administrator so that they don't have to be provided every time you want to provision a new RDS database from inside of OpenShift. So I'm going to grab my VPC ID, my access key, and my secret key and change my region to US East 1. At this point I'll go ahead and click Next. And this next screen will ask us if we want to create a binding. At this time we are not going to create a binding. And we can hit the Create button to start the Ansible Playbook Bundle. Click View Project and we should see that there's an APB pod or Ansible Playbook Bundle pod that's running and provisioning our service. If we check out the logs, we should see that the Playbook Bundle is running. And indeed, if we look right here, you can see that the launch RDS MySQL cluster has started. So now we just need to wait a few minutes and we will resume. Okay, so now it's been a few minutes and our database has finished provisioning. The next thing we're going to do is actually set up an application that will connect to our database and show some basic information about it. So I'm going to click on my Hello World application, which is packaged up as an APB as well. I'm going to add it to the RDS project. And you can see that another APB pod has spun up to deploy the Hello World application. Deployment number one is running and should be available momentarily. Alright, so now the Hello World app is running. We can click on this link to view the initial page. And we can see that right now the database information is not available here. This is because we haven't yet bound our application to the database that we created. To do this, we go over to the Hello World line item here click the three dots and click the create binding button. We'll select Amazon RDS from the list, click bind, and now we need to redeploy our application by clicking the deploy button. This will allow it to pick up the new credentials that it has been notified of. Alright, so it looks like our pod is running again, and we can go back to our Hello World app, click the refresh button, and now we'll see some information about our database. Some of this information includes uptime and connection count, so we can see it's actually been up for quite a while now. And um, every time we refresh the page, the connection count will jump one. Alright, so it looks like it's working. If you want to know any more information about the Ansible service broker or Ansible playbook bundles or also our tool called Cat ASB which lets you bring up an OpenShift environment with all of these things in it. Uh, I'll leave links in the description below. 
Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.